Welcome again to another information session for MadCon case. Um, I'm going to elaborate more today on what our, each one of our uh, modular concaves does inside our split frame and modular frames. So I hope you've all had the opportunity to go to our website, madcodcaves.com and Facebook. We have videos on how uh, efficient and well our systems work. So to further to that, I'm going to better explain what each concave does in that system. And I'm going to start with the 225. As you can see, we're not a wire concave. Our system works very efficiently because we have a certain width and depth to our concave so that we capture that crop for that split second so that we are thrashing out against the thrashing bar as well as the flats. No filler plates necessary, no pulling wires, no adding wires. This works very well. So this is our hard thrash concave. 0.225, just under the quarter inch gap. So there we are with our quarter inch gauge. This allows us to do crops like hard thrash wheat and flax and whatever you find necessary. Moving on, we move to a 300. Easy thrashing crops, easy thrashing wheat. This allows us to get the thrashing job done thoroughly as well as getting the crop through the concave by going to the 5 16 spacing. Whoops, sorry, 5 16. There we go. This alleviates rotor loss. The more we can open up our concave space, the, the more uh, rotor loss we're going to get rid of until the point where rotor loss is a non-issue. And that's what we're accomplishing from here down. So this concave does a good job of thrashing as well as getting the grain through up front where we need to so it can separate properly to the rest of the combine. Moving further down is a 375, which is a 3 eighths of a gap. Lots of big open area, and we will typically use this in the second compartment of our split frames and modular frames to further eliminate anything that is in the rotor yet. We're gonna get it out while it's still in the thrashing area. Rotor loss is gone. We're dealing with all our crop down on the pan now. Further down yet, I don't have a gauge that big, but it's, it's a half inch gap, 0.437 or close to half inch. Chickpea guys, guys with very large seed crops will use this concave. It's doing very little thrashing compared to uh, alleviating crop through it or getting the crop through it. This is made to get large crop through the concave as well as accomplishing what we want to do on the thrashing side. So front concave, on these two, second concaves and onward from here with the more open graduated concaves to allow the combine to do what it was designed to do. I'm going to skip around here to the other side. Now we have some specialty concaves. I'm going to start down here at the bottom, our alfalfa concave. This has been developed uh, with the cooperation of the Cutter bee guys and alfalfa growers and this is where we stopped with our design through all the R&D they said this is working very 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 well it's tried true tested and true so this concave is covering all those really fine seed crops that's 0.12 of an inch slot on these moving up here pretty much goes without further explanation that's a round bar concave that most people have been using for corn, sunflowers, beans. This guy here is a bean concave. It's worked very well in the past with canola till we got the shatter resistant canola and I'll explain that in a little bit. This is a very effective bean concave. It is not doing any thrashing. It is simply separating. So everything that is very easily thrashed gets separated out without any cracking. This concave has replaced in our rotary combines and doing the job what the picket combines can do we're doing as an effective job with this concave here. So very effective in those pulse crops where you want to alleviate cracking. Our top concave is a new design. Um, typically we were using this to do canola it's already thrash coming up the feeder house 
doing a very good job. Long comes shadow resistant canola and we need to give it a little bit of a workout. So until we designed this, the alternative was to go back to a wheat concave, but we lose a little bit of capacity. We didn't want to lose that capacity that we're getting out of this concave. So we designed this concave here as a finger concave, but it has a bar to thrash against. A fairly open wide space bar. We've got nice open gaps to leave the crop to come out. So we're getting a rub on those pods and accomplishing the thrashing part that we wanted to on the shatter resistant canolas. But here comes the bonus. Guys, we're leaving them in for barley, oats, peas, sunflowers, corn. It's become a very widely appreciated concrete for many crops. It's allowing some thrashing as well as getting the crop out without any further damage to the, to the seed. Um, at the same time, we're gaining capacity and still relieving all the other symptoms and rotor loss and things like that. So very good concave. Um, we can design and do design any concave to fit specific needs. Uh, this is our go-to plate. They're easily exchanged. They're 35 pounds each, two bolts. You pop it in and out. Uh, so if you're going from a wheat concave to do your peas or sunflowers, boom. Two bolts, few minutes, you're back in business, you're back in the field. Um, with that, I'll bid you good day and have a great harvest. Look us up, madconcaves.com. Thank you.